You have an environment built on Microsoft Azure and it needs to be FedRAMP compliant. What are the security controls you need to put in place to accomplish this? Hi, my name is Scott Chapman. I'm the CISO for Project Hosts. And today I'd like to talk with you about the AC family of controls in the FedRAMP control set. This is the largest family with 43 controls and none of them are fully inherited from Azure. What this talks about is how do you provide control over who accesses your environment and how do you authorize that access? So the first thing to determine is what are the types of roles that have access to various parts of the environment? On the screen now, you're seeing the types of roles that we've defined for our environment. When we developed those roles, we had to develop them with separation of duties in mind and also least privilege. Then, once you have those roles, you have to determine how are you going to track who has authorized which users to have access using one of those roles. To do that, we developed a configuration change request tool. And in that tool, we make requests for, for example, uh, to provide Azure admin access or to provide domain admin access. Then that access is authorized by the correct person and the access is granted. So you can see that's our change request tool and uh, one of those uh, requests being made. For our customers, they provide and authorize access for their own users. To facilitate that happening, we've developed a user admin portal. And what you're seeing now is what a customer sees when they're provisioning a new user for their environment using that portal. So with all of that in place, then uh, when they have access to the environment, a key part of the concept of least privilege is to disable access when it's not needed. And there have to be some technicals, technical controls that are put in place with regard to this. For example, if someone has not used their environment for 90 days or used their account for 90 days, that account has to be disabled or in a FedRAMP high environment, it's 35 days. Also, if someone's using their environment and they haven't done anything in it for 15 minutes, then that session has to be terminated and it has to be um, obfuscated so you can't see what was going on there. Now, 15 minutes is 10 minutes in the FedRAMP high environment. So these controls have to be put in place. There's some other security controls that disable access, for example, if someone tries to log in incorrectly three times, then their account is locked out. And in FedRAMP moderate, it's locked out for 30 minutes or until it's released by administrator. In FedRAMP high, it's three hours or until released. And in a DISA environment, it's just locked out until released by an administrator. So in addition to those uh, uh, protections, you have to define what are the various access methods into your environment. We've defined two main access methods. One is browsing to an application. And in this, we make sure that that goes through our web application proxy, secu uh, web application proxy servers for maximum security. Another one is for our uh, privileged admins to be able to administer servers. They need to come in using remote desktop protocol. But we don't have that come in directly because that's an, considered an insecure protocol. Instead, it goes through our web application proxies and is tunneled through a TLS environment to get to remote desktop. And similarly, for uh, managing our Linux boxes, they go first into remote desktop, and from there, they do SSH over into the Linux boxes to manage those. So defining, defining those access methods is very important. We also do allow access from external applications and cloud services, for example, from Office 365 or Salesforce.com, and defining exactly how that access is protected and how it's allowed is also a part of the AC controls. In addition, when a user comes into an environment, they should be very aware that they're coming into a FedRAMP government environment or a a DOD environment. So there has to be a banner that shows up in their application before they start to use it that defines that for them. 
And finally, when we're hosting websites, which we do host a number of websites, when we do that, then there's publicly accessible content. And we leave it up to the customer to decide what they want to put in terms of that content. So those are my greatest hits for the AC controls. If you have any questions about AC or FedRAMP, please contact us and please have a look at the other videos in this series and let us know what you think. Thank you.